I am with Mr. Francois Ronsi, Director of the ITU Radio Communication Bureau. Mr. Ronsi, very pleased to have you here in the studio. We are in the middle of the World Radio Communication Conference, which is running in Geneva from the 2nd to the 22nd of November. Why is it so important to have this conference here at this time? Radio communications are playing a key role in, in our life, and they become more and more important as time goes. If um, you consider that when you use your mobile phone or your smartphone, when you connect uh, to internet through Wi-Fi, or when you use Bluetooth to listen to music, you are actually using radio communications. When uh, you uh, navigate on uh, GPS to know wha where your location is, you are using radio communications. When you watch TV or listen to radio in your car, you are receiving the signals through radio communication satellites or terrestrial broadcasting. When you um, want to get information on meteorology, uh, with the weather forecast, you're actually depending on radio communication to get this information. When you look at um, uh, Google Earth to see uh, where, where you are or where you want to go, you are using radio communications because the picture you are seeing are coming from satellites, mostly. So radio communications are playing a key role. All the applications I mentioned are actually using one common resource to work, which is spectrum. If you don't manage spectrum properly, all these applications will interfere with each other and nothing will work. So there is uh, a, a clear need for regularly meeting between all the countries in the world to ensure that the rules of the use of spectrum, which have to be common to all countries in the world, will be updated so that the new trends in using spectrum, which means the new trends in uh, developing radio communication and using them, are taken into account. And as I mentioned, uh, Things are changing very quickly, and the role of radio communication in our day-to-day -day life is getting more and more important. It is also very important for the future, in particular when we speak of monitoring the Earth resources, climate change, and all aspects which are key for uh, sustainable uh, life on the Earth. So what are the key agenda items on for the conference at uh, this time? We have here in Geneva for four weeks more than 3,000 delegates coming from virtually every country in the world. This delegate will discuss nearly 40 topics, each of them corresponding to one key issue on using spectrum. One particularly important is additional spectrum for the use of both broadband mobile, uh, what we call International Mobile Telecommunications, IMT, in, in the IT. Getting more spectrum for IMT is an important aspect to ensure that the uh, very fast increase in traffic for data on uh, mobile internet is uh, actually uh, taken care of and is possible in the future. Another important issue is to ensure uh, adequate spectrum for um, what we call global flight tracking, which is ensuring that we know and we can follow where uh, planes are, and this is a follow-up of the uh, Malaysian aircraft disaster uh, last year. Um, there are many other issues like uh, suitable spectrum for drones, uh, for uh, satellites, for earth exploration, for emergency services. 
and we'll, we'll see um, that all the countries, and we are seeing that all the countries present here in Geneva are making their utmost effort to ensure that everybody's interest is taken into account so that at the end of this conference, all the countries in the world can sign the new treaty resulting from the decisions of the conference. So how will this conference affect the evolution of ICTs? How will it affect our lives? What is very important to support sustainable growth of ICTs in, in radio communications is to ensure that spectrum will be made available in the long run so that investment can be made with the assurance that they are protected over the next 20 or 30 years. To ensure that, you need to uh, do a lot of studies to be sure that there will be no interference between the newcomers in the part of the spectrum which is discussed and the incumbent users which have already made such investments several years ago or are still making such investments. So we are t we are what we are building in um, the World Radio Conference is a framework to ensure that the future in the next 20 years will permit new developments in radio communications. Mobile communication is one of them, but there are many others. Um, so that we have a sustainable ecosystem uh, for uh, the coming years. And WRCs are taking place every four years, so every four years we have the opportunity to adjust to the constantly evolving use of radio communications, but this adjustment is made in a very thorough way and we need to build consensus around the decision so that they are not challenged a few years later and are constantly uh, ensuring that uh, all radio communications work together without interfering with each other. We look forward to better and more evolved information and communication technologies. Thank you very much, Mr. Ansi. Thank you.